everyone, it's Genesis, also known as Donut Mommy, and this is Viva Chicago. Today we are exploring Back of the Arts Coffee House. It's in the southwest side of Chicago. It's one of the few places in the southwest side of Chicago that offers coffee, and not just any kind of coffee, Latino flavored coffee. Yes, you heard that, Latino flavored coffee. You can get your cafe de olla, you can get some inspired ochata drinks, and much more. So let's go inside, look around, see what we can try, and talk to the owner. The Arts Coffee started, uh, the idea started really in 2015 um, and if we really want to go back it actually started in 1999 uh, which was my freshman year of college. Um, I remember walking into a coffee shop for the very first time and thinking why don't we have something like this in my neighborhood. Um, 20 years later we still didn't have anything so you know we that was a, we started a conversation about like, what if we did a coffee shop but if we do a coffee shop we have to do something different something that, that you know, separates us from all the other coffee shops out there. So we we wanted to be like us. You know, we're 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 Mexicans of Mexican descent, but we're bicultural and bilingual. So the style and the look of the place it isn't overtly Latino, but the the flavors certainly are. Like all of our, our coffee, café de olla, horchata, dulce de leche, uh, these are all flavors that are very much Mexican. So that's another thing. We're we're both from back of the yards, and we wanted to make sure that we created one a space allow for the community to gather, but also we wanted to give back. Um, a dollar from every bag of coffee that we sell goes into programs that promote peace and education in the neighborhood. Uh, we hire locally. Um, I think all of our employees right now live within a uh, two mile radius of the shop. Um, and what that does is a couple of things. One, it, it, it helps support the local economy uh, because they live here, they buy in, in other shops around here. Um, but it also creates jobs for, for young people who may not have experience working and who may not be uh, normally hired by anybody else. In, in the beginning, uh, the first two weeks were scary. Like, uh, you know, this is something that nobody in my lifetime has ever experienced, so we didn't know what to expect. Uh, the high school across the street closed down, and so at, at that time they were, you know, our biggest customers. So uh, that was, a, uh, you know, a huge shot on the leg. But then, uh, you know, we reached out through social media to the community and, and uh, you know, we said, hey, like, you know, the, the way we're going to get through this is by supporting, uh, excuse me, by supporting uh, the local small businesses. Um, we developed an app uh, so that people can go contactless. They could put, um, you know, their money into, into their account and from there charge it, pay it, and then park in a parking lot and pick up. And so we also started doing curbside pickup. We started doing uh, a lot more um, third-party kind of delivery services. Uh, slowly but surely, you know, it's it's been getting uh, you know a little bit back to normal uh, or to what the new normal is. Um, but we we've been able to do this because of the support of the community. Without the community support, um, you know, we would have been shut down. There's a lot of coffee shops that are women or Latinx owned or both. But but uh, coffee companies that do what we do, we you know we roast, we you know we do production, we create our own uh, products, and, and then we distribute. Um, there's not many companies like us. Our hope and our goal is that we can recreate what we've done here, of being local, of being uh, for the community, that we can do those same, those same things and grow uh, not only in Chicago but on a national scale. We want to be you know the national leaders of coffee or the national Latino leaders of coffee. This is our vegan horchata. Ooh, it's nice, light, and refreshing. And I believe it's also made with oat milk, so they have a variety of milks. You can do your whole milk, oat milk, almond milk, but oat milk is like my new favorite. Guys, this is Café de Olla, and they have it here at the back of the yard shop. It's so hard to find Café de Olla around the city, and I feel like this is my new favorite place for Café de Olla. It's so good. And this is their chocolate, so it's Mexican chocolate. It's a little bit spicy, has like a kick of cinnamon in it as well, um, but it's so good if you love Mexican hot chocolate. It's for you. I'm finishing up a piece that my 
myself and seven other youth from the neighborhood put together over the summer. Um, this was done in collaboration with One Summer Chicago. But one of the things that I was very uh, adamant about was bringing art and culture in, into the space and uh, making it accessible to other people in the neighborhood. So inside a coffee house, we do have an art wall that is made spe specifically for students from neighborhood schools. So um, other artists have asked if they can bring their art in there. Um, unfortunately, it's for students only. Um, I thought it was very important for them to have a, a public space where they can showcase their artwork. It's very important for me to go out into the neighborhood and continue to build relationships with people and, and uh, talk to them and bring in other aspects of, of life <laughs> that aren't necessarily related to coffee, but in some way they are, right? So they, they're, they're brought back into the coffee house. And so this piece right here, um, I'm sure you guys have heard the saying before, they tried to bury us, they didn't know we were seeds. Uh, to me this speaks a lot about the people in our neighborhood, about the resiliency of, of who we are and, and how we live our life. Um, and so I thought it was very appropriate for this location. But the landscape itself and, and the setting is actually uh, representative of Los Altos de Chiapas in Mexico, which is where we get our coffee beans from. You know, I encourage people, especially young people who are thinking about becoming an artist, people who are be thinking about becoming entrepreneurs, to stop by the coffee house. And we're always glad to have these conversations with people because um, we didn't have that. I didn't come from a family of business owners. Um, I had to learn everything like on the spot as I was creating this business. And I enjoy having these conversations with people and, and also learning from other people. So um, if you're creative out there, you're thinking about opening up a business, um, stop by the coffee house and get inspired. Thank, Thank you, Viva Chicago. Thanks for tuning in to Viva Chicago. Next time you're around the area, don't forget to support and shop local. Check out Back of the Arts Coffee House, and I'll see you next time on Viva Chicago.